Land it in the alley. Let's get it. to give us a clue, and no sign of the cyclotrope plans. Ash must have gotten them. Why do you suppose the Crimson Ghost wants those plans? After all, he has a cyclotrope. Maybe to check or verify some detail on the large model. But you don't even really know that he's building one. It's a pretty good guess. A criminal of his caliber wouldn't be satisfied with a small model. I wonder why Mrs. Malloy left this out here. What's the matter? It's a lot heavier than it should be. this up and listening to everything we've said here. I'm afraid that's right. But now that we've found out about it, we ought to be able to turn the tables on them. How? We'll wipe off the conversation that's recorded here and substitute some information of our own. Then I'll bait the trap with some similar remarks at the meeting this afternoon. You place too little importance on the fact that the Crimson Ghost now has a cyclotrode plan and can build an enlarged machine. No, I've anticipated the building of a larger cyclotrode and have taken steps to meet and avert any attack that may be made with it. Taken what steps? I've constructed another isotron. The moment the cyclotrode begins to operate, my device will bend back its rays, destroying the machine and all who are near it. What assurance have you that your isotron will not be destroyed as the other one was? It's well hidden at my apartment and under guard. I'm going there now to make some final adjustments. Then, let the Crimson Ghost strike if he dares. Duncan suspects that the Crimson Ghost is one of his associates at the university. So he told us a story about having an isotron that will turn back the cyclotrode's rays and destroy it. And you do not believe him? I'm sure his story is nothing more than a clumsy attempt to draw me into a trap. Mrs. Malloy just brought in the recorder. Good. Now we will hear the real plans of the great criminologist, Richard. But you didn't take Professors Parker and Maxwell into your confidence. Naturally not. I'm convinced that one of them is the Crimson Ghost. Then there really isn't an isotron. Oh, yes, there is. But not at my apartment. It's concealed in the wall cabinet in the main room of the University Storage Building. It's already in operation and will destroy the cyclotrode and its operators, just as I warned them. So, he's a fool, is he, this Duncan Richards? It is you he makes the fool. Silence. Get that isotron and bring it here immediately. I will not start the demonstration until it's in my hands. Trapper scent. 
The dog will follow it anywhere. imitation of the isotron. Why, it's useless. It's... Richards has devised some means of trailing you. Not a chance. Nobody saw me leave there or arrive. We can't be sure of that. Go outside and stand guard. Bean, start the cyclotron. Here, Timmy. Let's go. Now watch that plane. Easy victim for our little monster here. tide of panic and disaster. Why, the power is irresistible. Nothing can stop it. That stopped it, my ghostly friend. Get your hands up.
Now, let's have a look at his ugly face. After weeks of following blind trails, it finally became evident that the Crimson Ghost must be a member of the faculty here at the university. But then I found the wire recorder and forced a move that brought me face to face with the Crimson Ghost. Take him away, Inspector. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 